and we don't really have uh, the car to, to win at the moment. Um, and uh, by the grace of God, I managed to bring the car home. I was in fourth and uh, I was overtaken on the yellow flags by Truly, so I, I gained my position back and it was third. So podium finish in our first race with what we have was, was way more than we expected. Hamilton was promoted to third post-race in Australia, but as McLaren prepared as normal for the Malaysian Grand Prix, it transpired that there was more to the truly Hamilton incident than previously thought. The FIA discovered an interview that Lewis had given straight after the race, and it seemed to contradict what he had told the stewards. I was behind Truly under the safety car, and uh, clearly you're not allowed to overtake under the safety car, but he went off um, in the second to last corner. He went wide on the grass. I guess his tyres were cold, and I was forced to, to go by. I mean, I was I slowed down as much as I could. Uh, I was told to let him back pass, but I mean, I don't know if that's with the regulations, and if it isn't, then I should have really had third. But uh... The evidence was looked at again in Malaysia, and both drivers were summoned to the stewards. The evidence from the pit-to-car radio was central to the debate. Yes. In Australia, McLaren claimed that there had been no discussion on the radio about the incident with Trulli. And as Dave Ryan and Lewis went their separate ways on Thursday, the radio transmissions spoke for themselves. After the safety car line, the delta doesn't matter, but no overtaking, no overtaking. The Toyota went off in the, last, in the second to last corner, I overtook him, is that OK? Understood, Lewis, we'll confirm and get back to you. Lewis, you need to allow the Toyota through. Allow the Toyota through now. Okay. Third right down in front of me. Okay, Lewis, stay ahead for the time being. Stay ahead. We'll get back to you. We're talking to Charlie. I've let it pass already. Okay, Lewis, that's fine. That's fine. Hold position. Hold position. Charlie, because I already overtook him and I've only, I just let him pass, so... Yeah, we understand, Lewis. Let's just do it by the book. We're asking Charlie now. You're in P4 if you hold this position. Just keep it together. Jarno, did Hamilton let you pass or what happened? Because you're in front of him now. Lord, a lot, a lot, a lot. And I thought he gave me the position. So what I did, I overtook him and then I slowed down again just to let him by again. And he didn't. So uh, I don't know exactly what happened there. Okay, your explanation is clear. So basically Hamilton let you pass. You passed, you slow down to make him understand that he could pass again, but he didn't pass again. Okay, this is clear. We are very clear like that. I, I passed by next to him and then I slowed down again and he didn't overtake me back. Okay, Jarno, this is very clear. You are P3. Just close the lap. The safety car will come in, but nobody can overtake you, of course. So just close the lap. As a result of the information, Lewis was excluded from the Australian Grand Prix, and the team faced a meeting with the FIA Motorsport Council at the end of the month. Lewis felt obliged to both explain and apologise for his actions. We were uh, requested by the stewards. Um, and whilst waiting for the stewards, I was instructed and, and misled by, um, by my team manager to withhold information, and, uh, and that's what I did. And, um, you know, sincerely apologise to the stewards for wasting their time and for, for making them look silly. But um, just really, I'm very, very uh, sorry for the situation for, for my team, for Dave, because he's, he's been a good member of the team for many years. And whilst that, I don't think um, 
it was uh, his intention or, uh, you know, he's a good guy. And um, I went into the meeting, I had no intention of, uh, you know, I just wanted to tell the, tell the story, to say what, what happened. And um, I was misled and, you know, it was, uh, that was, you know, that's the, that's the way it went. And um, I would like to say a big uh, sorry to, to all my fans who, who have believed in me, who have supported me for years, um, who I've showed you I am for the past three years, it's who I am. I'm not a liar. I'm not a, um, a dishonest person. Um, I'm a team player, and um, every time I've been informed to do something, I've, I've done it. And this time... I realized that it was a huge mistake and, you know, I'm learning from it. You know, it's it's taken a huge toll on me. Um, I apologize for you guys. I didn't speak to you guys yesterday, but, I mean, it was a, uh, a lot to take in and a lot to deal with. And um, so I'm here to, to apologize to everyone and uh, just assure you it wouldn't happen again. An integral part of McLaren for over 30 years, Dave Ryan was a notable absentee on Friday in Sepang and Martin Whitmarsh explained why. It's become clear uh, from discussions with Dave last night and uh, through into this morning uh, that uh, during the uh, stewards meeting after the Australian Grand Prix, uh, he was not uh, entirely uh, full and truthful in the answers that he gave to the stewards and uh, consequently we had uh, no alternative uh, today other than to suspend him. Uh, the, as, a, as you can imagine, I think it's a very sad day for the team. Uh, we've got to uh, uh, deal with this weekend. Uh, we've got to look at, uh, in, in a bit more detail, uh, all of the events that uh, surrounded that. Uh, from, you know, from my perspective, obviously it's a point of deep, deep regret. It's not how uh, I wanted this year in particular to start. Uh, it's uh, it's uh, something for which uh, uh, the team and myself are not only deeply embarrassed, but uh, deeply regretful. Uh, and uh, you know, I think for, for Davey, it's been a shattering, a shattering day for him.